Hey folks, so in this lesson what we're going to be doing is working on good old-fashioned life drawing. So what I would recommend is to, I guess, start the process of, you know, choosing a brush that you really like. You should probably also start with doing a, maybe a couple hundred circles. Try to make them absolutely perfect. And you know, you know, I definitely need to warm up myself. But after you've drawn a couple hundred, they should be getting closer to perfectly round. Um, but at any rate, just warm up, get that shoulder moving. And then when you're all set, um, I would go find some stock images. Um, so you can do like a free web search and you could type in some costume models or something like that. I just, uh, what did I type in? I just typed in, you know, free stock images people. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna just gonna reference these folks over here uh, because they have some really good silhouette and you have a good idea of what the poses look like. Um, but for this very first lesson, I want to talk about action line. Okay, so when you see this one person right here, there's an action line moving up and down. Same here, a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a curve. There's definitely quite a big action line that's happening right there because you could see there's a weight shift. You could see that this person's body is resting primarily on this one leg. This leg is unloaded. A um, little bit of an action line there as well. And you can't see it right here, but you could tell that this person um, has quite a bit of an action line as well that's like arcing backwards. So one technique that you could use when trying to draw people, so let's just try to draw this one, is to think about what is that one line that will describe the entire pose, okay? And use that one line as a way to put the stuff. So if we see that the head is there and then we have the torso, you can kind of think of the torso as a shape. Remember from the previous videos, we want to adopt a shape based approach to drawing. And then, you know, you're just going to go and map the rest of the stuff to where it needs to go. Definitely watch the Proco videos on anatomy because they are way more thorough and you know you get hours and hours of content. This is just the quick and easy to get you in the right direction. So anyways, um, try to get that one action line to go where it needs to go and then you're all set. And from this point, you know, you can add new layers and you could try to get the anatomy into the place of where it needs to go. It would be important for you to learn what the anatomy is. So you, you, know, you can look up life drawing videos on YouTube and those videos will have you know, draped models, sometimes undraped models, and they'll help you. Um, you can kind of watch the videos on, you know, on a separate tab while you're drawing in Photoshop or you know, hopefully you're on Procreate on an iPad or something like that. Um, but at any rate, this is kind of, this is the technique that uh, I like to use when drawing. Remember, there's no rules, <laughs> only tools. So there you go. That's how you use action line to go and draw some kind of a pose for a character. Let's go and draw one more, probably this one over here, because again, there's a strong silhouette. Actually, no, let's go for this one and we're just gonna kind of fake um, the legs. So again, first things first, Get that action line. Really try to exaggerate it, push it out there. <clears throat> now that I got the action line, uh, again, think about those proportions, measurements. Uh, I think I'm gonna map the head right there. Let's get that torso in there because that's a good way to, to put stuff where it needs to be. Remember, action line is going right through that person with the binoculars. You might wanna include the binoculars as just like a shape. And then of course, Think about where you can gesture in those lines for, you know, the other body parts and appendages and things like that. Another thing to talk about or think about when you're considering um, measurements, try to see where this elbow lines up and where it goes in relation to the head. Try to see where this other elbow goes and lines up in relation to the head. So if you have this elbow down here, you're in trouble. Um, so just, you know, again, you just want to constantly go back to your image and then look at the reference image or the model or the person you're studying just to make sure stuff is where it needs to be. Okay. So once you're feeling good about this, 
then you know you can choose a different color and you kind of go back and you, you map in the rest of the the costume that the person's wearing um, and you try to make the anatomy look realistic and feel free to use different layers if you need to and you will develop a shorthand which is kind of like the a technique that you use when you're drawing and that's just kind of the way you draw stuff very quickly like after you do a thousand of these drawings you know, you will find quick, easy, automated ways to be able to go and draw stuff the way you like to draw stuff. Okay. Um, so here's what I would recommend. Um, watch some of the schoolism videos. If you want an in-depth um, gesture drawing course. So look up schoolism and look up Alex Wu. It's worth every penny. It's such an amazing course. There's also the Proco stuff. So go to Proco.com. There's so much good stuff um, there. Um, but honestly, all you really need to do is just watch some free videos on YouTube with a live model that's moving around and just draw, 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 draw a million of them and you're going to get real good in no time. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks. Bye-bye.